going on YouTube, this is Sam from Team Sam Rex here, and today guys, I'm coming at you with my Dinosaur Deck Profile for the new September 18th, 2017 ban list. A lot of you guys have been requesting for this deck profile ever since the ban list dropped. I got you guys with the deck list. You guys don't know that I always answer your prayers. I got you guys with a pure Dinosaur Deck Profile. This is going to be a pure Dinosaur Deck Profile. No True Kings or no, uh, you know, Dragonic Diagram in this deck because I understand that you guys love the budget version way better than the expensive version. I understand that not everybody has access to a Dragonic Diagram. So other than the True King version, this is the pure version that I will play with cards like Lost World and things like that, which I'll explain to you guys further as I progress to the deck profile. Let me tell you guys right now, please do not neglect the fact that Ultimate Conductor Trinal still exists. That card is really powerful. Be able to OTK your opponent with Conductor Trinal is just really good. And do not forget that there's a card called Double Evolution Pill, which lets you tutor, you know, an Ultimate Conductor Trinal directly from the deck, which is really powerful. Although that Miss Manosaurus did get hit to one, uh, it sucks because now Dinosaurs will have a less uh, chance to actually do their follow-up plays because Miss Manosaurus was one of the best uh, recursion plays with the next following turn to actually help you follow up with combos and things like that. But nonetheless, the deck is still really powerful. We're just going to be able to adapt like, with just playing with one miscellaneous source and also having additional cards that are off the balance like Rescue Rabbit. Uh, you know, if you're playing Triple Rescue Rabbit into the deck, you can actually make your first turn laggy up more consistently and seeing that card in your hand instantly first turn can actually give you access uh, to actually more damage output on the board with special summoning the Megalo Smashers first turn and things like that. So that's my explanations behind, you know, Bunny being back at three deck is just still really powerful but the play style of the deck is just going to change you're not going to be reliant on your follow-up plays anymore you're just going to be ramming out your board as quickly as possible to actually try to otk your opponent so this is how the deck's play style is going to work from now on so i'll explain to you guys that as i progress to the deck profile by the way guys if you guys smash the video with 500 plus likes actually just aim for a thousand plus likes because you know we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers and make sure guys i'm going to be uploading deck profiles all week this week so make sure you guys turn on your post notifications to actually see what deck profiles i uploaded next and make sure you guys comment in the comment section below if you guys want to see a specific deck profile you guys want me to profile so make sure you guys do that by the way guys for those of you who would love to help support the channel make sure you guys get your dinosaur play mat today it is one of the best selling play mats on the channel so if you want to help support the channel make sure you guys get your play uh, your play mat today i'll put a link in the description box below which is best for you on my facebook page i do free shipping to canada and usa international shipping may cost extra so please make sure you guys get your dinosaur play mat today all right guys so without further ado let's start with the deck profile start off with a monster real quick you guys want to play the best monster in the deck Double Ultimate Conductor Trino. This card is just absolutely amazing, guys. How powerful this card is. The fact that you're able to just book a moon your opponent's monster to actually interrupt plays uh, during, you know, either player's turn is just absolutely insane by just popping a monster on the field or in the hand so this card is able to trigger off your babies in hand or on the field which is really amazing it's 3500 which can attack each of your opponent's monsters uh once each which is really good so it has no problem with clearing big boards which is why i really like ultimate ultimate conductor trino and this card is definitely searchable off so eating over raptor and that's one of the reasons why i still think that this deck is still compatible is because we have soul eating over raptor at three which is still really good we also have fossil dig so that means that we can always consistently get to ultimate conductor trino to actually help otk your opponent and the 3500 attack and 3200 booty is actually pretty huge. For the best starter card in the deck, you guys definitely want to play Triple Soul Eating War Raptor. This card is absolutely phenomenal. Very powerful card, but in itself, the fact that you're able to search any dinosaur monster directly from your deck to your hand is just really good. So as long as you have this card at three, you will have always OTK access to Ultimate Conductor Trino, which is really good. And remember, guys, do not forget his secondary effect. You're able to pop a monster on the field, pop a level four lower dinosaur monster on the field to special summon a dinosaur monster in your grave from your graveyard in defense position. So if you properly summon ultimate conductor trino you can pop like a baby on the field to special summon an ultimate conductor trino from back from a graveyard which is really really amazing so do not forget that is this card can always revive back double ultimate conductor trino you know in the sad and lonely one miscellaneous at one this card is still really good if you actually open up with like car, it's a three card combo if you open up with like over raptor conductor trino and like a double evolution pill or you can open up with uh over Raptor, Conductor Trano, or uh, Lost World is just insane. Like, I did so many combos where you open up a Lost World, Over Raptor, and, you know, a Conductor Trano, and you just win the game. Card is still really good. Do not forget that Dracula Yellow is still a really good card to actually special summon out with Miscellaneous Source, so that way you can always have access to, Ch to Chambara. So once you're already pitching this card uh, to the graveyard, you're thinking, you know, nothing else but to OTK your opponent, because legit, if you, this card is on your graveyard, you're pretty much just going to OTK your opponent uh, within that turn anyway. So, one Miscellaneous Source. 
Still a really good card. Next up, we're going to play uh, Triple Giant Rex. Not Triple Giant Rex, sorry. Double Giant Rex. Card is still really amazing. One of the best cards to actually help you make rank 4 XCs plays, which is why I really like Double Giant Rex. And you're also, when this card gets banished uh, from your graveyard, you actually get special in this card uh, back from your banished pile. Not from your graveyard. Well, once this card gets banished, you get, you get special in this card back from your banished pile, which is really amazing. So it you know combos out really well with Missile and Source, and also combo out, combos out really well with the Ultimate Conductor Trano, which is really nice. Uh, so you just summon uh, Trano, you can just banish this card and then another uh, dinosaur monster in graveyard and then giant rex will come back which gives you access uh to more rank 4 xc's or even going to trishula and also even going to uh you know chambara is also really good as well so double uh giant rex and i and i also play cards that actually help you tutor out this card as quickly as possible anyway so double giant rex next off for the supporting engine you guys want to play of course triple bunny all right, guys, uh, Rescue Rabbit is finally back at three. Uh, I love this card being at three. And, uh, you know, a company off the Rescue Rabbit at three, you definitely want to play Triple Mega Will Smasher X. Card is absolutely amazing. You guys are probably wondering, Sam, why are you only playing uh, Triple Rescue Rabbit and Triple Mega Will Smasher? And the reason being is because you're already playing so many monsters in the deck. Like, you, you don't want to see more of your vanillas unless you're playing the True King version, in my personal opinion. If you're playing the True King version, you can actually pop more of your vanillas with, you know, the Water True King and things like that. But, you know, with this version, my theory behind playing 3-3 three and three is that you want to see Rescue Rabbit in your hand as quickly as possible. You want to open up with this card as quickly as possible so that way you can actually have access into your XCs play and just ramming up uh, boards with just 4,000 monsters with double Megalo Smasher on the board with just you know Ultimate Conductor Conduct Trinal can actually game your opponent which is really insane so that's my reasoning behind uh, Megalo Smasher X and also Triple Rescue Rabbit and no other vanillas is because you need to see Rescue Rabbit in your opening hand as much as possible. You want to be consistent as possible by actually seeing this card in your first and opening hand. Uh, you know what? Sometimes it does conflict when you open up multiple copies of this and Rescue Rabbit, but you know the chances are just really, really low. You just want to see Rescue Rabbit in your hand as quickly as possible. But so far, guys, it is currently st uh, you know still testing right now. I haven't found too many problems with Triple Megalo Smasher and Rescue Rabbit. Once I already resolved the Rescue Rabbit and bring out my Megalo Smasher, anyways, the extra dead Rescue Rabbit. If I were able to draw, you know, but by, by the time I draw them, I'm probably just, just are you gonna win the game uh you know other than yeah you know dead drawing these cards later in the game i can actually use these cards to actually as conductor channel pops in my hand to actually interrupt uh plays on the field which is really good so it's tra playing triple and triple isn't really that bad at all if you guys just test it out um you know what i mean like you just want to be consistent by seeing rescue rabbit uh, in your opening hand as much as possible and you don't want to focus too much on the vanillas anyway so i would have maximized myself on playing more vanillas than three mega smasher but right now for this current version i believe this is the correct ratio uh if you guys you know think otherwise it's so it's okay, I understand. It's just my deck list. Uh, just use my deck list as a guide to what you guys can play in your own deck, as I said before, in all my deck profiles. This is my personal opinion on what I, what I think is the build that works best for me. But so, uh, throughout testing so far, I've found zero problems with playing Troll Rescue Rabbit and Troll Megalo Smasher. And by the way, guys, this is, this is not a Dino Rabbit build. You're not trying to you know play Triple Saber Swords and Triple uh, you know uh, Megalo Smasher. Actually, not trying to do that. This is the dinosaur version. Bunny is just in here to actually help support uh, the dinosaur uh, engine, which is really good. So Triple Bunny and of course. Uh, uh, triple uh, Megalo Smasher X, and of course I can't uh, you know forget to shout out my boy Slim because you know Bunny is his favorite card of all time. So shout out to my boy Slim. Off to the uh, babies, triple baby Ceratosaurus and double Petit Tyrannodon. Uh, you know, this is just a really standard uh, lineup. You guys don't know how powerful these babies are uh, when they're popped uh, by cards like Overraptor and things like that, which is really amazing. And the way you can actually get off their effects as well is through uh, Conductor Trinos effect, which is why I really like playing the babies. So, uh, Troy Baby Soros and Double Petit Tranodon. Last but not least, you're going to play, of course, the one Jurak Aolo. This is one of yours cards to actually draw. So, hopefully, you actually don't see this card in your hand. Never. Like, you never want to see this card in your hand. Uh, card's really good uh, to actually help you access into OTK, which is Shambar and also Conductor Trano. And Last but not least, you know, the best monster in the game right now, Maxi. All right, guys, for the spells, you know, the best uh, card in the deck, Triple Lost World. I'm telling you guys right now, most of the time when I actually play tested the deck, this deck, I always want to go second. I want to see Lost World in my hand, Over Raptor, and also Conductor Channel, or even a double Evolution Pill to actually help OTK my opponent. So Lost World is just really good for that. And be able to just put Token on board, so that, so that way you can actually have more monsters to attack with Channel. It's just really good. Uh, so Triple Lost World. And to actually have access to Lost World in your hand, you want to play Triple Terraforming. These cards are just really standard. Like these, like this spell lineup is like you're playing triple everything because you like you want to OTK your opponent as quickly as possible. So these cards searches your dinosaur monster directly from your deck to your hand, so that way that you can just see more OTK potential and more damage output with Ultimate Conductor Trino as quickly as you can. So triple fossil day. Oh my goodness, guys! This is the new addition to the deck. Triple double evolution pill. This card is absolutely insane. This is the new version of the deck where you're just trying to ram out 
damage as much as possible. So double evolution pill can actually get you there. If you guys don't know what double evolution pill does, is like you banish one, you can banish one dinosaur monster and one non-dino dinosaur monster from your hand and or graveyard. Special one level seven or higher dinosaur monster directly from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning condition. So when you're already going through th through singles and you have cards like Maxi or have cards like Bunny in your graveyard, these cards can actually be uh, useful by banishing them with another dinosaur monster. You know, preferably Giant Rex, the Tura, Ultimate Connector Trino directly from your deck, so that way they can actually OTK your opponent. That's why you don't play a triple copies of, of Tyrannal, you'd rather play triple copies of these to see these cards in your hand as quickly as possible so that way yeah, you can actually help OTK your opponent. So this card is just really good for OTK aspect of the deck. So the spotlight up is just really powerful, like you're seeing triple ups of everything to actually seeing your combo pieces, which is really amazing. This also, you guys all know I love this card, triple gold sarcophagus card, it's really amazing. The main reason why this card is in here is because of Giant Rex, like you, right, Giant Rex is a free level four monster on the board. So you activate gold star advantage of Giant Rex, you have an automatic free level 4 monster which can help you go into next heat play or even help you go into a single play which is really amazing so Gold Sarcophagus is in there to actually help search out Giant Rex and also if you already have your Giant Rex in your grave and things like that you potentially draw with Gold Sarcophagus this card is searches out any card directly from your deck to your hand which is really good so uh, yeah by the time you're already resolving multiple Gold Sarcophagus to actually bring out Giant Rex you're already going to be winning the game so uh, when you banish Giant Rex by any way means or form Theo Graveyard deck you get a special summon Giant Rex directly from your banished power which is really amazing so uh Triple Gold Star, and last but not least, we're gonna play, of course, Triple Cause like Cyclone, like three of everything legit to actually, like you wanna see these cards in your opening hand as much as you can. And, you know, going second, this Cause like Cyclone is just a really good card overall, especially while pa uh, Paleozoic is still running around, uh, which is really amazing. So, Triple Cause like Cyclone, and last but not least, you know, Board Clearance, Regeki, and another uh, one, Soul Charge, uh, to round off our spells. And that's pretty much it for the main deck, guys. No traps. As I said before, guys, this deck is just a mainly OTK deck. Like, you're trying to ram out. Tyrannal as much as you can. You know, you're trying to see these cards in your hand as much as you it's as much as you can possibly can. And especially double evolution pill is your main go to OTK uh card in, uh, in the deck. And having this card still viable in the deck and having Over Raptor still at three is just absolutely insane. So if Over Raptor gets hit, hundred percent guys, this deck I think would be dead. Like, Alright guys, let's go out to your extra deck and play the one cowboy. You know, this this card could be anything if you want. So one cowboy, one Karakorgon. Uh, what's it called? One Samurai. Okay, Samurai can actually OTK. This card is actually useful in the deck. Uh, one Abyss Dweller, Dire Wolf. Really good card to actually clear up your extra deck space. One Castell, Ragnar Zero. One Lagia, okay. One Dolka, Utopia. And of course, one Utopia, the Lightning. All right, guys, standard rank 4 XCs plays. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to play the one Decode Talker because you actually make this card, uh, which is really good. Uh, so the one Decode. Uh, just in there, just in case. And last but not least, the Chambara and also the Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. These cards are just really accessible out of Jurak Aolo. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. The extra deck is just really standard. Remember, guys, use my deck list as a guide to what you guys can play in your own deck. Let me know what you guys think about this deck list in the description box below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and smash that thousand plus likes. That'll be absolutely amazing, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this pure version. If you guys want to see a true king version, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned for more deck profiles. And this is Sam from Team Channel Sam signing out. Alright guys, peace. You know them, you know me, man. You look like a men in black alien trying to blend in